Hello, my dear friends. How's everybody doing? Hey, Eric. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. We are on episode three, I believe, of this amazing Game of Thrones season two alternate universe AU by badgershy.tumblr.com. If you missed any of the previous parts that we're talking about, you can head over, head over to my Twitch channel, Michaela Fates, where you'll find all fast access to unedited play, um, unedited videos, or head over to my YouTube channel, Michaela Faith. Just in case you miss it, you can find everything you want there and more different series, so please check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, we're gonna get right back into this. I forgot what happened last time. Do you guys remember? Basically, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, uh, Garrett is a little, little pissy pissy poo. He's mad at Roderick because he killed his uncle. He killed Duncan Donuts! But honestly, who cares? Like, Duncan needed to die, my friend. He needed to die. He was a traitor! But, you know, he's, Garrett's all butthurt about it, so, oh, well. But if you guys are enjoying this series, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that notification bell! Thanks, y'all. Let's keep going. Alright, so, looks like we're at the Glen... No. I forgot what these people's house was called. Right, right, right. Super bad at name. Sorry about it. But it's the Glenmore's, like, grandparents. Looks like they're having a meeting. It's going down. Naaman Glenmore, heir to Real Water Crossing, and Megan Glenmore, Lord Brown Barrow's sister, wife of Naaman Glenmore. Oh shit, so this is his wife, Megan! We never met her until now. Well, welcome, Megan. Welcome. Got Talia, of course. We got these two. I'm, I'm gonna say that these two are gonna end up together eventually, I bet you anything. Lyra and what's his face? Don't remember his name. Okay. I can't believe so many people actually showed up, says Lyra. Didn't realize Lord Grandfather commanded so much respect, milady. <laughs> Mr. Grayson may be an old man and lord of a small house, but he is held in high esteem by the men of the Wolfswood clans. It would be unwise to dismiss a request from him. Naaman's gone to sit with his wife, I see. What, is that a problem? You don't like that? Do you think uh, they really love each other, or is it more of just like, oh, we're married out of obligation? These are the questions. She is his wife, Elena. Good point. Someone's coming in. It's Nestor Grayson, the grandpa, the lord, lord of Timberwatch. Thank you for coming at such short notice, friends. Some of us have met before, some of us are not yet acquainted, but I hope our houses can come together as they have before in similarly trying times. Lord Ball, Branch, Eliva, Brown Barrow, and Woods, I am glad to receive you in my halls. So Lord Ball, Branch, that's a winning name right there, Eliver, Brown Barrow, and Woods, another winning name. We got Branch and Woods. <laughs> See, as well as our representatives of House Riverstone, Thor Thornton and Glenmore. But enough of the formalities. I am sure you wish to know why I summoned you all here, and more importantly, why my messengers could not tell you themselves. We have a problem. Dun dun dun! We got a problem, mates. So this is House Riverstone and Thornton. I like that little 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 straggly hair right there. And its name is Whitetail. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. Since the terrible events at the twins that stole sons, brothers, fathers, and friends from us all, House Whitehill has been laying claim to the wolf's wood. The Boltons have done little to prevent this behavior and much more to encourage it. They started with Ironrath, Lady Talia being the only known survivor. She will be representing House Forrester for the duration of this meeting. But she's not the only one alive. We got, we got Roderick, we got Ryan, they're still alive. She's alive? A Forrester? Talia Forrester? I thought they were all killed in the siege. Mumble, mumble, ramble, ramble, mumble, ramble. Calm yourselves, friends. Let Ironrath and Stillport be examples. We can sit around and do nothing. Let the same fate befall all of our keeps, or we can strike while the iron is hot. 
Spare ourselves with such pain and restore our allies back to their former glory. I like this guy. I like that they're finally taking a stand against the White Hills, like we're finally seeing some action going on, because usually, usually everybody's just willing to bend down to the White Hills and just follow their every move, so I'm glad that we are taking a stand. So, to do this, though, we need to band together. Alone, we are weak. Alone, my blind grandson was beaten by a coward bearing the barren hill we so despise for all to see. Alone, we will all fall. Together, we can defeat those who threaten to raise our lands and murder our families. That's true. We are stronger and better together, everyone. True words of life. And this is no hollow threat. They have shown they are far more than capable of destroying us all in our weak state. I say, we return the favor. Ooh, it's getting lit. All right, so this is Mr. Branch. <laughs> uh, acting together would make no difference. Our houses are so weak that we can't even match a fifth of the White Hill's strength, even when our forces combine. Most of us can barely give ten men. Well, okay, Mr. Branch. More like Mr. Pessimistic Branch. Mr. Sad Face Branch. Mr. Loser Branch. <laughs> Loser Branch. Come on, dude. You really can only offer up ten men. That's all you got? That's pathetic. You should kick him out of this meeting. Just kidding. And then we have Eliver. Markin Eliver, Lord of Silver Glade. The Boltons tore us open once at the Twins. They did it again when some of us refused to bend the knee. Nothing is stopping them from doing it a third time. They'll beat us down until we give in. That's true, the Boltons are... Boltons are pretty crazy. Then we have Edard Ned Thornton, heir to Galehaven, Stillport. Does that not enrage you? Knowing that they let their bannermen run wild in our part of the North because we have no significance to them? Do you desire revenge? Okay, dude, calm down. Take it easy. Now we have Hollis Brown Barrow. Our desires mean nothing if we cannot act on them, Lord Eddard. The fact of the matter is that we just don't have the clout to defeat the White Hills. And even if we did, we'd just be destroyed by the Boltons after a short victory. Hmm, don't have the clout? What, y'all don't have uh, that many followers? Package for Josh Nichols. Thanks. Have a good day. Don't tell me what to do. So, we just stand by and leave our families in harm's way? I, for one, am not content to... Oh, that's rich. Coming from the man who sold out his allies to make peace with his enemies. Ooh! Albin Woods, you tell him. You freaking call his booty out. Yes, do it. Do it. Do it. Love it. Love this Woods guy. Mr. Woods, Mr. Woods, call his booty out. Yes. I actually agree with Glenmore. Torn White Hill doesn't just have my son hostage. He has my cousin. He's forced her to be his wife. And I've heard he's also used her to bear him heirs. Why her brother Davin has remained quiet throughout this council remains a mystery. Oh. Oh, okay. So we're getting a little backstory to Mr. Torn White Hill. So I guess his cousin... This guy's cousin is married to, uh, married to Torrin? That blonde girl, right? Interesting. His keep has been garrisoned by the White Hills ever since his sister was wed to the bastard. Oh, well, where's the brother? Ah, I guess this guy, right? Davin Bull, Lord of Thornbird Hall. It's quite all right. They're not making trouble, or... What are they, then? Your allies? You will show respect to Lord Davin. I'll call him Lord when he earns the title. This thorn bird is just a fledgling. A month into this time as Lord, I would have preferred his father's counsel over his. He could scarcely bloody talk towards the end. Oh my goodness. When the hell did Voldemort show up? <laughs> Voldemort! <laughs> oh my god, that's... I'm at a loss for words. Okay, well, noseless Ned Woods, or noseless <laughs> Tom... Tom Riddle. 
Okay. A damn shame Lord Davin's elder brother had to go and take a hatchet to the face of the twins. He would have made an awful lord, but at least he would have held his own against the White Hills. Well said, Voldemort, well said. We have not come here to snap at each other like leashed dogs. At our Thornton, you will show Lord Bull the respect he deserves as you would to any other head of a house. Instead of tearing into each other, I propose we focus our efforts on the enemy, like sensible lords. Now, Stannis Baratheon marches on Winterfell to depose the Boltons. Lord Roos will summon his most loyal vassals to aid him in the battle to come. The White Hills has been their bannermen for five centuries. Oh. So basically what he's saying is Stannis Baratheon is already on the prowl to make some war happen to take over the Boltons, kick them out of Winterfell. But this guy is also saying that because of that, Roos Bolton will end up summoning his most loyal allies, which includes the White Hills. Interesting. This means that most of their army will be preoccupied and away from their keep. We could use the battles as cover and crush the White Hill bloodline if we act promptly. Without their lord, the White Hill army would be left without direction and we'd be easy to finish them off. But there's the matter of the cadet branch laying claim to Ironrath. If Torn were to be killed, would they not flock to him? They... <clears throat> um... Speak up, Lady Talia! Your account is, is as important as anyone else's. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you, dear sir. I've seen Ironrath under Griff's control. He doesn't have control. The soldiers barely follow orders. If we were to band together, it would take less than an evening to clear them all out. Oh! Dally it! And what are you going to do? Curtsy at them while the walls fall down? Answer me this, gal. Do you know what real slaughter looks like? I watched countless men die at the twins, and I think you underestimate what an evening's with a death looks like. Have you even killed a man? <laughs> this guy clearly doesn't know Talia or what she's been through. Yeah, um, actually I, sh I have killed a man. I killed a man while I was escaping Ironrath. He was on top of me, and I stabbed him in the throat before he could strangle me to death. I still have the knife to prove it, though I'm not proud of what I had to do. I believe you, but would you be able to do that 50 times over and over to get your home back? Exactly. I don't see why we should have to do your dirty work for you. All your family ever did was get us wrapped up in your war. Okay. Okay. Clearly this guy is bitter as some unsweetened chocolate like he is just angry and bitter whatever dude <laughs> whatever we were all supposed to be allies but when house woods was poor or hungry or under attack we had to fend for ourselves house glover is trying to reclaim deepwood mott from the ironborn as we speak but instead of helping our liege lord we're all fantasizing about saving the entirety of the north be it from me to say so, Lord Grayson, but you've lost your touch. You're not the cunning warlord you once were. You're a senile old fool trying to prove he still has balls. Okay, dude. This dude needs to relax. Okay, clearly, clearly you are the one who needs to take a seat and stop trying to, you know, swing your d*** around to, like, see who's better at what or this and that. Like, stop it. Stop it right now. Leave this place, Albin Woods, before I prove to you that the beast that once bathed in the blood of allies and enemies alike still exists within me. Its desire to rise again becomes more tempting with each passing day, and your words leave me inclined to give into the craving. You tell him. You can keep distracting yourself living in the past, Grayson, but House Woods will be aiding the Glovers in retaking Deepwood Mott. They are the only true allies we've ever had. Alright, well... Whatever. 
I'm sorry, but if Thorn Whitehill were killed, the garrison at Thornbud Hall would turn on us in an instant if we were involved. House Bowl cannot provide support. That's great. Yeah, well, I, th I wasn't expecting this guy to be much help anyway, since he's clearly a wuss, wuss town. And, uh, you know, he's a Weenie Hut Jr. And he's still eat at Weenie Hut Jr. And he, his, I mean, if his sister is married to, to Torin, he's obviously not going to stand against that, because he's afraid of what will happen to his sister, or whatever. It's a nice fantasy, Lord Grayson. But with House Woods pulling out, we have absolutely no hope. I wish things had been different. But House Branch cannot provide its men when this is clearly a lost cause. Okay, Mr. Branch. Okay, Branch and Branchosaurus. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Everybody's turning on us. It's happening. My father was right about you. You really are Hollow the Mild. I don't say you pitching in, Lord Brown Barrow. And your father and brothers were killed by White Hills. At least I'm remaining here to hear Lord Grayson out, unlike some. Can't get away quickly enough, can you? If you had any sense of duty, you would have marched south with your brothers and died alongside them. You are making me question the wisdom of your betrothal to my Demelza. Oh, it's getting, uh, getting a little too personal. Be quiet, all of you. You're angry. So am I. Our enemies deserve our hatred. We shouldn't waste it on each other. Make them pay. You know I'm right. Ooh, Talia's taking the leadership. I really want to help Lady Forrester. Trust me, I do. Torn Whitehill killed my father, and Bolton's cut my leg off. But there's nothing House Elevo can give. We have only two fighting men, and the rest of our defense are peasants. Well, honestly, I don't blame these guys. These, they're pretty pathetic already. I don't think they could have offered much. I mean, what? Two dudes? Two dudes? Yeah, you, you guys can go home. And he's got no leg? Yeah. Let's give him a pass. These, we'll give these guys a pass. <laughs> but... I can't allow the fate of yours and let Lord Eddard's houses suffer to be fall mine as well. I cannot provide men for you, but perhaps I can help in other ways. After losing so much of our house, we have an abundance of food and horses. If those are of use, you are welcome to them. Oh, wow, that's so nice, buddy. He's a nice guy. He's been through a lot, you can tell. Anything you can give is welcome, Lord Eliva. Your generosity will not be forgotten. House Brownborough can offer two fifths of our fighting men to honor our alliance with House Glenmore. Oh, she. The wife finally speaks, Megan! She's pretty too, by the way. And how many is that exactly? Four. <laughs> Wow, this is not looking good. House Riverstone will offer one man. Me. <laughs> okay, so so far we have one, two, three, four men, right? About four dudes. I have said my piece. House Branch will have no part in this, but if you require aid once all is said and done, you are free to request our help. Begging your pardon, my lord, but they're back at the gate. Son of a bitch. They're here already. I take no pleasure in being violent. Those bastards hit my brother. I'm going to return the favor. This time we strike first. We don't give them a chance to hurt any of our families. What's going on? <laughs> Lady Forrester, stay back. We're just going to take care of the White Hills at our gate. This is a trick. You're not. You're making a bloody mistake. What's going on? I'm confused. There's a lot of, a lot of things happening. Uh-oh, what is it? What's going on? 
<gasps> Roderick! Oh my god! Talia! Holy sh! It's a reunion! It's a reunion! Oh my god, I'm sorry I cursed! It's just I couldn't help it! Oh my god! It is him! It's no trick! Roderick and Talia, the Forcers together again! Roderick and Talia, the Forcers are getting again! Okay, celebration over. Talia, he got you out. Roiland got you out. I knew he would. Yeah, at the cost of his own life! R.I.P. Roiland. R.I.P. We got captured again, and... He didn't make it out. But I kept this. You must have more than proved himself. I'm sorry you had to go through all of that without me. I'm here now, and I'm not going anywhere without you. Yeah! Brother and sister reunited and it feels so good. Roderick? <gasps> oh my god. baby. Your baby. <laughs> Gods, I... I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you through this. I... I tried to help you, but couldn't even stand. They didn't do anything to me, Roderick. I know this is your baby, and we're together now. We can marry, and the baby will be born a forester instead of a snow. Oh yeah, so so that is true. Does is the baby technically a snow right now because they're not married yet? Or like how does that work? Do you guys have to be married, you know, during the, you know, consummation of the baby for it to be considered part of the house or if you're, you know, consummating the baby at, after the I mean, then you're not married, does that automatically make him a bastard? Maybe? No, I guess not if she's saying that if they get married while she's still pregnant, it should be fine. They just have to do it before the baby gets out, I guess. I don't know, it's kinda, kinda confusing. We have to kill the White Hills. Then our child will be safe. We have to make the North safe for them. I'm so fucking happy. Sorry, cursed again. I am so happy <laughs> that these two are together again. The family's back together. Roderick is back with his wife and his child. I'm just super duper excited. You have my axe when the battle comes, Roderick Forrester, the true Lord of Ironrath. Yes, the true Lord, the true Lord of Ironrath, the true Lord of Ironrath. Get it, boys. <laughs> Somebody's not so happy about this little reunion. Wipe that smirk off your face. Wipe it. Wipe it off. Look, and they're all looking at him like, got anything to say, buddy? The true Lord of Ironrath! Ah, okay, alright. It took him a minute, but he agreed. He agreed. Mm. Roderick's like, I'm overwhelmed. Move! Whoa. Looks like we moved on to somewhere else. Where are we now? Oh no, this poor freaking girl. This poor girl. We don't even know her real name. We just know that she's most likely a peasant who offers a tiny resemblance to Talia, and now she's just being used as the fake Talia because Griff lost the real one. <laughs> Loser. Do as I say, or you can stop being the forced to girl and go back to being an effing peasant living a crap. My men can do whatever they like with you. Okay. That's pretty messed up, dude. There's Asher Ashwood who is supposed to be his betrothed. Yep, this is how you really woo a woman. In case you were ever wondering, if you really wanted to woo a woman, but she didn't want to be wooed by you, just kidnap her, throw her in an iron cage, 
and treat her like garbage until she falls in love with you. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty basic, you know, it's a standard standard thing to do, you know what I'm saying? I will find you. Riff, my dear man, release me from this cart and I'll agree to marry you. I knew you'd come around to my way of thinking. Yeah, see, all I need was some time to be locked up in a cage. You know, that's all you need. Come to your senses. <laughs> I'm joking, everyone. Obviously, I'm joking. Okay. Ugh. She's a tough little bird, isn't she? Ah! Out! You're dead, Ashwood! Not if you want my hand in marriage, you gullible little wank stain. I like her. I like that chick a lot. She's pretty awesome. Look at how hard she slammed his head. <laughs> nice. Mad at the gate! Oh. Lord Griff! Patrol went awry. We ran into a group of about 20 or 30 men at the Tuttle Farm, who I think are coming to attack us. My men were supposed to deal with it, but we all got shredded. They got an effing bear, my lord! What do we do? That's right. Gr Mr. Garrett and the, the North Grove is coming after you. You know what I think? I think the Foresters haven't learned their lesson. I've heard they've been trying to get back on their feet. So we've got to beat them back down into the filth they came from. Except, Griff, let's be honest here. You have absolutely no, no leverage in any way. Like, the only thing that you have is that you're holding the Iron Wrath right now. You have nobody from House Forester, so you have no leverage, dude. I'm just saying. We don't have the number we did during the siege. If we couldn't even stop the Forester, girl, we'll get torn apart. We should just abandon this place and return to Lord Torin. I am the Lord. You either follow my command or die. Uh-oh. Rutro, looks like this guy is losing his mind. Griff, aka Prince Charming, <laughs> good one, is uh, losing his crap. Losing his mind over here. Harris! We meet the effers outside the gates and strangle them in the canyon. With all of our men, every single one! Right you are, my lord. <laughs> It's about time we had some real fun around here. God, he's psycho, isn't he? <laughs> I was trying to do, I was trying to do the evil laugh. <laughs> uh, I can't do it. Well, it looks like they—they they don't have that many men, though. I'm pretty sure Garrett can take them. All right, now we're at the White Hills place. Miles, you have an early night or take the evening off on me. Well, that's nice of you, Torrent. So here's Miles Thornton, son of Edard Thornton, Torn Whitehill Squire. So yeah, the, his dad was at the meeting, right? I remember him saying, talking about that. Thank you, my lord. If my father always made me go to bed early, you're not like him. Alright, Rosalind Snow, Torn White Hills bastard daughter. Father, where's baby Carl? There's Greta. So that's uh that that wussy Weenie Hut Jr.'s sister. He's safe with the scepter, Lila, and your Uncle Stanler Ross. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. Soon Carl will be big enough to sleep in bed with us all, and we won't all miss him overnight. You're a good big sister for worrying about him, Rosalind. I know you and Father worry a lot, so if I worry too, then you won't have to as much. That's... a point. We'll look after him while you're asleep, Rosalind. You should take an evening off after all your hard work. All right then. Good night, Papa. Good night, Mama. Night, Snowflake. So, is that her mom? Who's who's the mom? Cause wouldn't wouldn't she not be a bastard if that was her mom? That's weird. She's falling asleep in our bed again. 
You're making me soft, Greta Ball. You were always soft, Miss Rosalind. It seems like they actually love each other, though, so it's not like she's... It's not like- it doesn't seem like she's a hostage. Like, it seems like they're in love. She called you Mama, you know. Oh, okay. Guess they're gonna explain that. I'm glad she thinks of me that way. Considering... If Rosalind says you're her mother, then you are. You can't let blood get in the way of it. She's chosen you, and you've chosen her. That's all that matters. Alright, so obviously it's not her blood mother. So who is? Who's the mystery lady that this guy went to town with? I'm just, just curious. I suppose you do know what's best for her. Yes, I do. What's best for her is you. Ow. Oh. Ah, look at that. That's love if I've ever seen it. Oh, that's sweet. That's actually kind of sweet. I still don't like you, Torn, though. I still don't like you. Just so we're clear. Don't like you. All right. So now we're back with Talia. Okay. You saved my life. Lady Talia, I'm sorry to hear about Sir Roiland. Bloody good man he was. He was one of the best men I ever knew. If you hadn't put yourself in harm's way, I never would have escaped Ironrath and found him. Why did you do it? It was my duty, and you remind me of my daughter. I don't think... She was likely lost in the siege. I've been sitting here thinking of her. I know that I'm sorry doesn't do much to make you feel better, but I'm sorry. You deserve more than I can give. If I were a lord or a knight, I'd probably be able to give you a knight's wood, but... Just knowing I saved one person is enough, and I would gladly follow Lord Roderick to whatever awaits us. I've got nothing to lose. Uh, drink water, guys. Stay hydrated. Drink the water. Drink that water. Drink it. Speaking of Roderick, are you coming to the ceremony? I'm on my way to the Godswood right now. Oh, I think I'm going to give it a miss. I've been on my feet for a month. I need to tend to my blisters and then sleep for a bloody good while. I feel that. I feel that, buddy. Wait! I... <sighs> you saved my life. I don't even know your name. Monday, my lady. Just Monday. I don't have two names like your lot. Though some call me Monday Stone Belly. Stone Belly! I like it. I like it a lot. Roderick, wait! Don't worry, Talia. I wouldn't dare get married without my sister at my side. Oh, they're sh- Oh, crap! They're getting married. Right now. It's happening. How are you feeling? I've never felt so nervous. Not even before a battle. It's not something I can explain. But I suppose you'll feel it one day. And it's your turn. After what happened to Mira, I have no desire to marry. There is not a man in the Seven Kingdoms I would willingly give my hand to, not even for the house. Well, unfortunately, during these times, you don't really have a choice, my good, my girl. I suppose the Sentinel's place is by his or her lord? Your... I can't... Surely there's someone more suitable than me. Give me the name of someone I trust more and I'll really consider it. Right now I'm set on the person who's been my, by my side since I returned from the twins. The person who provided both Ethan and I with counsel when we needed it. And the person who found out the identity of the traitor. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts! Piece of garbage. When you put it like that, it makes me sound impressive. But I don't think I can live up to Roiland or Thurmond. Or Sir Eldred, even though I don't know him. That's because no one has given you the chance to yet. When Griff came to Ironrath and started making a show of himself, you said you wanted to help our family. Now's your chance, sister. Oh, they're just so cute. I just love seeing these two together. Talia, there's something I've got to tell you. The reason I came here 
It's because this girl told me to come. She said she heard whispers of House Forrester at Timberwatch. It was something I couldn't pass up. But that girl... She was with Garrett. Garrett's alive? Aye, he's alive. And I treated him like shite when we were in the same place. I acted like an arsehole. Because... Because... Because he came back from the North Grove with people claiming to be our father's bastards. They proved it, too. Gods. One even looked like Ethan. It shook me right up. Wait. 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 You're telling me that our father, our father, Lord Gregor the Good, had bastards that he hid in the North Grove? Beyond the wall? That's about the sum of it. Well, that's insane! Father always used to read me stories when I was little, but he kept me reading me this one about a lord long ago who had a family and spirited them away beyond the wall. You don't think? Father told me about the North Grove when I was young, that it means something to our house somehow. I thought it was just to do with Ironwood, but Talia, he was trying to tell us about our siblings without telling us at all. That story he used to tell you wasn't about some long dead lord, it was our father. He told us these things so we could put the puzzle together, but we just never talked to each other about it and it fell to Garrod. Why he didn't tell us outright I have no idea. Perhaps because of mother? Perhaps he was just ashamed? We need to talk this through. Once all this is over and done with. We'll talk about it tomorrow, then we'll deal with it when the White Hills are dead and we have our home back. There's the man of the hour! I may be injured, but if you think I'm going to miss this, you're out of your mind. Hey, yeah, hey, hey! Glad you can make it. Lady Talia, you may stand to one side for now. You have a little while until you play your part in the ceremony. Gods! They're all here, aren't they? Grayson's, Glenmore's, Brown Burrows. I'm so excited. I wish I could have worn something prettier. We couldn't find anything to fit Elena, either. But I suppose we can always have a do-over. Be quiet! It, it's d dis disrespectful Kyra's a bit set on making sure everything goes to plan. But I'd follow her advice, Lyra. Let us remain quiet until the ceremony is over. Hey, it's the feast! It's the God's word! Get ready. Oh, he got a little smile on his face. <gasps> oh! Elena, she's so beautiful! Elena! She's pregnant with our babies. Who comes before the gods? Elena, if House Glenmore comes here to be wed, a woman grown and flowered, true-born and noble, she comes to beg the blessings of the gods. Who comes to claim her? I do. Lord Roderick of House Forster, Lord of Ironrath, defender of the Ironwood Groves, I claim her. Who gives her? Naaman of House Glenmore, her brother, Lady Elena Glenmore, will you take this man? I take this man. <laughs> oh my god. They're getting married. Oh yeah, maybe maybe Talia will sing a song. Huh? Maybe there'll be a little song. Looks like they're getting ready deep in prayer. Oh, and they're putting the coats! Yes, I love this part of the, the whole world of Game of Thrones, how like whenever somebody gets married, they drape them with a cape over their, their significant other's shoulders of their house. That's so great! We're redoing this, you know. I know. Once we're at Ironrath. Once we're at Ironrath and I'm at the side of a bloody boat. That's the one we remember, where I don't look like a mess. 
Elena, you are beautiful. You do not look like a mess. You are glowing with your pregnancy. You are glowing. I think you look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Uh -huh, hey -o. That's what I'm talking about, Roderick. See? Always compliment your ladies. You got a lady friend? You got a lady girlfriend? You compliment her. You let her know how beautiful she is all the time. <laughs> Remind me to schedule a betting ceremony for our do-over wedding too, Lord Forrester. Oh! Cheeky! Lord Forrester. Lady Forrester. You are bound in the eyes of the old gods. Usually, this would be the time for <clears throat> consummation of this marriage. But considering the marriage has already been somewhat <laughs> sealed with the pregnancy of your firstborn, we have instead come up with a replacement of sorts. Ever since Ironrath was taken from its rightful owners, Lady Talia has been jotting down a song. Hey! I have read through the notes, and I believe the song would be perfect for this occasion. Lady Talia, whenever you're ready. Take a deep breath. Get ready. And... La 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 la! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. I had to. Okay, I'm not obviously going to sing, so we'll just say, From ice, from ice, we foresters born, from ice, we rise once more. My lord, my lady, your unborn child, for you we fight this war. I've seen it there upon the hills, a star in shades of blue. Oh, it's like showing what they're up to right now. They've come, they fight, they test our will, we stand steadfast and true. Yeah, these guys look like they're gearing up for war. Brave men who fell facing the threat, for their swift health I yearn. With salt and blood, they paid the debt, a price not theirs to earn. So this is the Glenmore house. For now our foes claim Iron Wrath. Oh gods, please guide us home. Hey, we got Garrett. I forgot Ryan and Besco were with them too. Awesome. With fire and steel they bring their wrath, but love they do not know. But love they do not know. Fight on, fight on, unbroken lord, but no, we stand with you. Unite as one and win this war, so I am grows anew. Still iron grows anew. Hey, alright! Good job, Talia! That was beautiful! That was great! Oh, you think Errol died? It's possible. I feel like we we haven't seen him since, since that whole thing went down, right? Yeah, so we don't really know if he's alive or not. Don't really know. Well, let's see here. Let's see what we got. I think I'm gonna end this part here, guys! Get out of here. We've been through a lot. It's about just just under an hour. I just want to see uh, see where we're at. Okay. Okay. So here we are. We're on chapter ten, Godric's Moor, and I believe there's like a few more chapters left. Thank you so much for watching. We got to chapter ten, Godric's Moor, where it looks like we're catching up with Garrett. What the heck? That's not where we were. That was weird. We were catching up with Garrett to see what, what he's doing with the new North Growth. Looks like there's a war coming for us. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So stay tuned for that. We're about to see what happens. Garrett versus Griff. The G's versus the G's. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much, Eric, for, for watching with me, man. It's so much fun and so much better when, uh, when you're in the chat room with me. So I really appreciate it. And I hope all, every single one of you has a great weekend. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday. Happy Friday! Game of Thrones. Friday Game of Thrones. Yes, we're going to continue this series. We still have a lot left of episode 3. And we still got an entire episode after this. So we are nowhere near being done with this series. So yay! Yay! If you uh, haven't seen this, check out... The website, this website here, Game of Thrones Season 2 AU by Babdrashite at Tumblr.com. I'll leave the link in the description box below. But if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Don't forget that notification bell to let you know when a new episode comes out. Yes. 
and please follow me on Twitch where you get a lot faster access, unedited playthroughs, and you can join the chat room. Yay, exclusive content there. Don't want to miss out. But if you guys have any other suggestions of Game of Thrones, different things that we can review, look at, or play, please let me know in the comments down below. They really mean a lot to me. Or if you have any other recommendations for games in general or things in general, let me know. I hope you're enjoying as much as I am. I am enjoying this series so much because I love Game of Thrones and I don't want this series to end. But hopefully by the time we're done with this, we'll be able to do something else Game of Thrones because I'm obsessed. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I hope you're having a great day. If nobody hasn't told you yet, you are great, you are beautiful, strong, powerful, and you are the love and the light of this universe. Yes, you are capable of all you want to do, all you want to be, and more. Yes, God bless, and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, all right. Good egg, bye. Peace.